And yep. uh, welcome to probably the biggest ever open access drum circle in Ireland. This is it, you made it. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. We reckon we brought £40,000 worth of drums with us. So well, that's quite a record, isn't it? I don't know, anyone else has got that, but he's wrong. So I'm going to look after him. Okay. Like this, slowly together. Keep it slow for the minute. Let's just try and find. Now, hang on, because this is a moment. This is the first time that 200 drummers have drummed on Tara for I don't know how long. Maybe in the far past there was a big gathering of drummers here. But this is an epic moment where 200 drummers announce their presence with a rim note, a roll on the edge of the drum. Here we go. First thing you have to know really, not only how to get on it, but how to use the brake. Ready? One, two, three, four.
What, to your mind, was the best thing about today? It was that everybody came with a smile and left with a smile. And that everybody was very friendly with one another and everybody lost their inhibitions as the day went on. I'd say the best thing about today was everybody coming together, drumming together and celebrating our heritage through song, through chant and through drumming. And I saw you drumming yourself. I did indeed. And I loved every bit of it. <laughs> I think the best thing for me about today was seeing so many people out enjoying themselves, out enjoying this wonderful landscape, and really coming together, young and old, to celebrate Heritage Week. And I saw you drumming yourself. I was, yeah, it was great fun. <laughs> So from your point of view, how did today go? I was really pleased. Everyone who came was really up for it. They were very excited and playful. People really learnt very quickly. We managed to put together a really fantastic piece of music. Um, it went really well, really powerful. And not only that, we managed to teach and, and, and sing a beautiful four-part harmony piece as well. So, and, and every, all the feedback I got was really good. Everyone really loved it. What amazed me was how people were able to pick up very complex rhythms so quickly. Yeah, I'm not surprised at this stage. It's like what gets in our way, I think, sometimes is, is fear. And often in our schooling, we were sort of punished for making mistakes. And what I try and do is make it very playful and safe and, and let people just experience stuff without fear that they're going to um, be told off. Um, and that really there aren't any mistakes, we just do our best. And then I find once it's really funny and silly, people learn really quickly. And we actually work, rather than sort of one person will pass and the rest will fail, we're all working together to just make something as best we can all together. So yeah, once people are in that zone, everyone can learn amazing things actually really quickly. And this was really a, a, a historic occasion because uh, I don't know, maybe for a thousand years has there been anything like this on, on Tara? I can't imagine, I've never heard of a, a drum circle of, 
of 200, over 200 drums. I think we had about 220 drums in the end here today. Um, and not only that, we weren't just sort of messing about. We were playing a real powerful Nigerian f um, four part, actually more like 12 part, which got all the bells and shakers and different things. Uh, a very serious, complicated piece of music with great gusto and power and songs and everything. But also with the intention of really celebrating Tara, all the ancestors who, who trod the land and all the people who fought for the freedom of Ireland. I was really keen to celebrate that here. I mean, I, I think I, that, that many folk would say Tara was one of the symbols, wasn't it, of, of Ireland that really stood out in those times and has continued to shine out. And so to have the opportunity to bring a sense of celebration and power and honouring of, of this mystical place. Um, and also, we, we did sing in the end a, a real blessing song for the land and for the people who pass it on so carefully for the Office of Public Works who look after it. Yeah.